Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in session with Sumit, we have Mr. Gagan Gaurav with us in this first episode of DataX. Gagan has a total experience of five years in analytics industry with his latest role as a senior data analyst at Growfirst. Gagan's cumulative experience in analytics field comes from working across e-commerce, healthcare, and travel industry with his team spread across the globe. A product from IIT Delhi with major in electrical engineering, Gagan is proficient in machine learning, data visualization, product development, and client communication. I thank you and welcome Gagan for taking his time and talking to us. Hi, Sumit. Thank you for hosting me on your channel. channel. Yeah. It has been a great opportunity for me as well. So to come on your channel and talk about my experience. So Gagan, I first of all wanted you to uh, basically introduce yourself to our audience so that we all can uh, have a better, better uh, understanding about you and your uh, career uh, in data science. Sure. So uh, I graduated from IIT Delhi in uh, electrical engineering. So after that, uh, I started working uh, as a data analyst. So I have worked across different industries like uh, I have worked, worked across healthcare, I have worked in uh, logistics, I have worked in travel industries and e-commerce industries. So I have uh, seen uh, the world of different industries and how analytics functions in all of those industries. So that has been most of my experience and along the side, I have uh, just kept learning different skills in analytics uh, side by side. So okay, okay. So uh, Gagan, my first question to you is, and uh, these are the questions that we have received from our audience. They, they wanted to know that how a like how a day looks like for a data analyst and uh, in, in his in his job so if if i if i were to be a data analyst then what are the roles, roles and responsibilities i need to take up in my in my particular day okay okay so uh, i'll talk about my current uh, my latest job uh, uh, first so uh, in that uh, i am basically part of uh, the product team so I am basically seeing all the analytics that happens in Grofer. So, uh, so all the uh, all the analytics for the app, right? So uh, there we we are uh, owning different parts of the app, right? So there are different features which we own, and there are different metrics that we own. So the first job that we have is that of tracking those metrics. So every day when I go to the office, I track some basic metrics. So there are some high level metrics like the av average order value. What is that? So how much order frequency is going on right now? So uh, these and then retention and conversion and, and, and so on. So there are different metrics that are high level metrics for the whole app that we have to track. Then apart from this, there are several metrics that we have uh, for each team in the in the organization right so each product or each each feature that a particular team team owns so that i have to keep track of and uh, while keeping track of these metrics so uh, uh, we have set up some alerts on each of the metrics as to when a, when a metric falls below a certain value or it goes above a certain value so there will be an alert that there is something wrong with this metric so whenever this happens so then we have to do a rca so the root cause analysis of uh, why this happened and what can we do to prevent it or may maybe to basically treat it right so these are some things that we do in in the first part apart from that there are some uh, regular uh, uh, improvement uh, continuous improvement uh, things that we do on our features for example if there is a certain feature that we are uh, owning and we are tracking the metrics of so there will be certain improvements going on with that feature continuously right so we have to track how those things are affecting the metrics of our company. How is the revenue getting impacted because of that? How is the average order value impacted because of that? Is our retention improving according to that and so on? So these are the uh, things that we do on the, on the continuous improvement side. Apart from that, if there is a new feature that we have launched or if there has been some major upgrade to a particular feature, so then we, have, we also have a job of making dashboards of that so that the whole company can look at the metrics, how, how things are going on, right? So uh, it's not just the job of the analysts to, tag, to track the number. It, it's the job of the analysts to make everyone see the data so that uh, we call that as data democratization so that everybody knows the data that the company is having companies have right okay. so this is one of the things that we do and apart from this whenever uh, as i was saying that uh, there are new features that are coming on, coming along so whenever a new feature comes along so there is a lot of deliberation that goes behind designing that feature so that is also part of the data analyst so it's uh, 
so the first step in that is that we brainstorm around what we can do with those features and while brainstorming we bring in insights from the data that if we change this particular metric so this much will be the impact so based on those we uh, we help uh, the product managers design a, a feature or upgrade it and uh, based on that we we most of the time set up ab experiments right ab tests okay. so uh, analyzing those ab tests also is our job so all of these is our regular job and apart from this there are certain ad hoc data requests that keep coming on mm. from other teams and all so uh, that we need this data so how that is going to be so uh, okay. this is how the job okay 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 so uh, uh, gagan uh, my my second question is basically uh, what are the various platforms and what are the various technical tools that you use in your in your work so if i if i if i need to be become a data analyst what are the what are the tools and what are the softwares that i need to focus that i need to learn so that it will be easy for me to land into a job of a data analyst okay uh so i'll answer this question uh, according to how i started my job as a data analyst so how i got exposed to different kind of tools right so in my first uh, job it was uh, more kind kind of a healthcare consulting firm right so we had clients and those would give a give a certain task and we have to complete them and there was a, a lot of freedom there as to the tools that we chose so one of the most important tools and the one of the most basic tools that you need to know is microsoft excel right that is the starting point for every analyst so you start doing uh, any kind of number crunching on excel or maybe google sheets uh, so based on that and uh, apart from that then uh, the second tool that i got exposed to was sql so it is completely indispensable you need sql to get data because that almost every company is using sql to uh, to extract data so once you have data once you have excel so the next thing is uh, uh, in the initial phase is presenting data so to present data you need some bi tools so though there are a lot of different bi tools that i have used i have used tableau i have used clicksense i have used power bi so all of these tools that we have used apart from that then uh, the next stage comes when you uh, start going into modeling and also for that uh, you can either go to go through python or r so i am more comfortable with python so i do uh, uh, do it on python so apart from that some other tools that i have used are spss and i have used the bi tools of business objects sap business objects so uh, yeah these are the tools that i have used okay okay that's great so uh, now gagan um, uh, regarding regarding the requirement of knowing machine learning because i have currently seen uh, i have currently seen in the market that there is a quite of lot of buzz around in the market regarding nlp jobs and deep learning jobs and also your computer vision jobs so are uh, like if i am a fresher is is that a requirement for me to learn so that to uh, to land into a job of a data analyst so do i need to focus on these technologies or or i can just uh, be into the limit of sql excel and power bi or maybe tableau right so uh, if we talk about deep learning and nlp and all so uh, i would say that data analysis and analytics is a very new uh, new new trend in this industry right so uh, not many companies are using it to its full potential so most of the companies have just started using analytics as a way to move forward right hmm. so uh, since most of the jobs that we see in india are uh, in startups right in initial phase startups or in uh, medium phase startups so in those companies uh, the most important task that a data analyst has is to answer uh, uh, answer the problems of the company through data and provide actionable insights to through, through that right so in most of the cases you won't need deep learning or nlp in that the first the most important things that you need is to understand the problem statement right if you understand the problem statement if, and if you can convert that problem statement into a data science problem or a data analytics problem so if you mm-hmm. can do this first step then half of the job is done you know what the problem is and what you have to do to solve that problem right so if mm-hmm. you can do that so after that the next important skill for a data analyst is building hypothesis if you can build a lot of different hypothesis if you can cover all the business cases that are there all the edge cases that are there in a particular problem statement if you can accommodate for that then that gives you a clear thinking around how to pro- solve that problem 
if you cannot do this and if you know a lot of machine learning models you won't be able to do a good uh, feature selection good amount of very efficient engineering in that so that will not help so the first so the most important thing is this the hypothesis testing and creating the problem statement and the next thing that comes is understanding the data what the data is what are the problems in the data and and so on so the, this these three skills are the most important things once you have this and since in most of the companies you will be required to answer a particular problem with a very short amount of time so you won't have the opportunity to design a machine learning model every time on that you just have to do a quick fix and give an actionable insight and give an answer on which the product team or any product manager can take an action upon that so in most of the times you will just be doing exploratory data analysis and based on that you will be giving them initial correlation and initial uh, insights on to what happens and what does it lead to right so those are the most important things as a fresher if you are talking about so once you have uh, covered all this once you have once you are strong in this then you can definitely move on to machine learning and deep learning and all having the knowledge of mathematics and probability and making it strong in the initial phase of your career is very important if you have a strong knowledge of mathematics and probability or statistics so that will really help you in your career along machine learning or deep learning okay, okay right so okay. that also you can focus on in the initial phase okay 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 so gangan uh, now i just wanted to know that um, like i i wanted you to discuss uh, one of your maybe project or um, one of your problem that you have solved for your company so that we can better understand that how a workflow happens when you get a problem from your company side okay okay sure so uh, i would discuss uh, a particular project that i was supposed to do and uh, there was a very uh, major problem that i faced and i think a, a lot of data science, data analysts and data scientists will face that problem but not many freshers will be able to guess that this is something that is part of the industry so uh, what happened was that uh, Uh, in growers only so uh, we had uh, a cross selling uh, and upselling platform in which what happened was that if a person has added some product to the cart we suggest some products that these are the the, the products that you can add so uh, based on ev- every fe- every event that we had like if a pro- if a if a person has added an item to the cart so there are certain attributes behind that that go into the analytics framework right so in the data pipeline you uh, the engineering team has to feed uh, the data called uh, how much is the price difference which which uh, which is the product that was shown and which is the product that we suggested and so on so there are different kinds of attributes that go on along with, along with this uh, so my job was to calculate how much impact this particular feature is having on the on the revenue of the company right so if it ha- if it had an impact how we can change that and if it it is not having an impact what can we improve right so this was the whole problem statement that we had so when i digged into the data so i found out that the whole data pipeline was not very perfect very nicely designed there was there was a lot of data points that were missing or there were a lot of data points that were wrongly captured in that so basically all these were data sanity issues so uh, this happens in almost every project that the data that you get initially is not clean it it has a lot of issues it it might be wrong it might be it might have some spelling errors or it might have some unknown value uh, null values and all so there are a lot of issues in in that so uh, to a fresher i would suggest that whenever you start working with the data don't expect that the data will be in perfectly in the perfect shape that is required for modeling or any kind of analysis so this is one of the most important job of a data scientist in fact uh, it is a there is a common saying that uh, 80% of the time of a data analyst is spent to clean the data and 20% is spent cribbing about that right, right. so uh, so it's a very important job of to clean the data and uh, yeah in that project also the the first job that i did was get the data pipeline fixed so i had to understand how the data pipeline gets designed how how the engineering team is doing that and uh, what uh, basically uh, when designing that it is a very uh, uh, crucial uh, point to get the input of the data analyst into that as to wh- how do you need the data and what are the issues with the data that you normally face and so that they can be removed at the, uh, at the first step so okay, uh, okay. so uh, what i understood is basically as a data analyst you should not expect just doing the task of a data analyst but you may be also required to look at other technologies like understanding a pipeline in your case and then uh, right. you need to uh, you need to maybe uh, suggest the changes to the other team 
so that that is right. again um, that is again a good learning from your uh, that i have i've gained from your side now uh, one more question uh, gagan uh, so as a fresher so many students they 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 think that how to crack a interview as a data analyst so can you just briefly help us like if i am a fresher uh, what are the different uh, questions i may expect or maybe how i need to prepare myself for this data analyst interview okay okay so uh, i have conducted interviews of freshers in in campus placements also so uh, i would tell my experience from that right so uh, when we go to the interview so uh, we are uh, not uh, we are not very keen on uh, on uh, checking the technical knowledge of of every student because when you go for go to a fresher so we don't expect that these all these machine learning models and uh, ai techniques will be taught in their college but we do expect that they will have certain amount of business acumen as to uh, uh, solving case studies and solving uh, the the guesstimate questions and all and a little bit of programming knowledge that definitely every student must have before coming into this so they must have studied some programming language in their college so the basic concepts about how programming is and what what uh, uh, how to approach that so those are the skills that you need to know and definitely solving case studies is very important as to if you have a problem how do you structure that how do you design a logical response to that that is a very important skill okay okay so gagan uh, like that was the pool of questions which i was having now i just leave you with the final thoughts that you have so maybe if you can recommend or if you can suggest something to our viewers um, regarding regarding everything in data science like your final thoughts on this sure so uh, uh since data science and data analytics is a very rapidly evolving field right so it is very important to keep yourself absolutely up to date about the new technologies or new changes that are happening in there so keep mm -hmm. upskilling yourself so the uh, learning never stops in this industry so as you go as you work just keep learning new things right there are a lot of online resources that are available there are a lot of online course, courses that are going on so just go go ahead and explore all those courses all those uh, reading materials and keep reading right and uh, one more thing that uh, i have seen a few few people face is uh, the case of imposter syndrome so that is very common in data science data scientists and data analysts that they feel that uh, since the industry is moving very rapidly sometimes you might feel that you are lagging behind in this race right but it's not uh, the case at any time right you have to be confident about your skills and just believe in yourself and just keep learning new things you never have to feel feel uh, uh, feel uh, under confident about your own skills and about your uh, performance in this industry okay 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 so that was a great uh, session with you gagan uh, i hope my my learners and uh, they they learned a lot from you so thanks gagan for your time and thank you guys for watching this video i hope uh, you enjoyed this video please do like share and subscribe to my channel